Yes, I am holding my mic. Yes, I do have a mic stand that I use while I stream. I don't know. This is my first time recording a video that is like fully non-live. And I feel like holding the mic makes me feel more professional. <laughs> Anyways, at the intersection of K-pop and Genshin Impact is me. Well, sorta kinda. As you know, I do play a lot of Genshin Impact, for better or for worse. And I have been listening to K-pop since late 2015, and I was even part of a K-pop dance group in college, shout out Sola. And even though I'm not as into like the fandom aspect of K-pop as I was back then, I still do listen to K-pop very regularly, so I feel just the tiniest bit qualified to be making this video. That and mainly it sounded like a lot of fun. That is until I remembered just how many Genshin Impact characters there are. 89 and counting, which is why I am going to be chopping this video into two parts. There also isn't any criteria for what characters I chose to be in which part. The ones in this part are literally just the first ones that I came up with songs for. Additionally, as you will see, the criteria for how I went about choosing the songs varies a lot. Some of them are very on the nose and just based off the name of the song. Some of them go a little bit more into the lyrics. Some of them go into the actual music video as well. And some of them, a lot of them, are very unserious. So please do not take this too seriously. Seriously, this is all for fun. I had a lot of fun making this, even though it did take me a very, very long time. So let's have a little hee hee, a little ha ha, and enjoy this experience together. So with that being said, if you have a song for a character that I did not use, please feel free to share it in the comments. I would love to read them. And also, if you disagree with my choices, please feel free to voice that too. There are plenty of songs that apply to multiple different Genshin characters. So yeah, I'd love to see what you guys come up with as well. And with that, let's get into the video. But first, can we get a round of applause for the sponsor of today's video, Infinity Nikki? If you're anything like me, and if you're watching my videos, I'm assuming you are, you love whimsical fantasy games, open world exploration, and most importantly, playing as pretty girls. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, then trust me, you are going to love this game. Infinity Nikki is the fifth installment in the beloved Nikki series developed by Infold Games, and it truly lives up to its moniker, the coziest open world game. In this game, you play as this diva, Nikki, and traverse the fantastical nations of Mirrorland alongside probably the cutest companion in a gaming history, Momo. I'm not joking, you will 100% become obsessed with Momo. He is actually so adorable. I love Momo so much much oh my god through exploring the bright and dreamy fantasy world you will start to collect various different special outfits which in turn grant you their own unique magical abilities these range from floating to purifying to gliding to shrinking and many more honestly think of the entire thing as a barbie meets mario meets zelda so what else can you actually do in this game on top of following the main storyline there is a huge range of things for you to do in this game this includes completing puzzles playing mini games exploring dungeons and doing platforming challenges but my my personal absolute favorite thing about the game and what I spent most of my time doing last week when I streamed Infinity Nikki is easily the outfit and character customization. All the materials you collect throughout your adventure will be used to craft outfits that, like I mentioned previously, will give you unique special abilities whenever you use them. But on top of that, you can mix and match these outfits with various other outfits you get from shops or the in-game gacha to cultivate your own unique style for every occasion. Not only that, but there's also a ton of different hairstyles, shoes, accessories you can collect as well well as being able to change your skin tone. Now come on now. And to top it all off, just look at the quality of these outfits. They look stunning. So if you would like to join Nikki and Momo throughout their adventures in Mirrorland, you can pre-register for Infinity Nikki using my link in the description. You can also stay up to date on all things Infinity Nikki by following their socials, which are also linked in the description. And once again, thank you so much to Infinity Nikki for sponsoring this video. Oh yeah, and the way I'm organizing this list is by nation, so it'll go in the order of Mondstadt, Liyue, Inazuma, Sumeru, Fontaine, Natlan. But we're going to be starting with Traveler because they don't belong to any nation. So for Traveler, I decided to go with Spring Day by BTS. This song can be read in many different ways. It can be dedicated to a friend, a lover, a family member, because at the end of the day, the song is about loving someone dearly and missing them even more now that they're not with you. And I feel like no other song captures the relationship between the Traveler and their twin better than this one does. Some notable lyrics include, how long do I have to wait? How many nights do I have to pass to see you? And is it you who changed or is it me? I hate this moment, this time flowing by.
for Barbara, I actually had to choose between a couple of songs. I initially wanted to go with G because it is, in my opinion, the most iconic girl group song and Barbara is the idol character. But I ended up going with Angel by Barry Good, which I feel like a lot of you probably won't know. It's not anywhere near as popular of a song, obviously, but it's had a bit of a resurgence on TikTok, which I think is great because I love the song. And people have coined it as Christian girl K-pop music, which I find incredibly fitting. And what's even more fitting is that the entire song is literally about being somebody's guardian angel, cheering them on and giving them the strength to achieve their goals. Notable lyrics are, have strength, you're not alone, I'm always in your heart, which is so Barbara coded. And literally, I have a faith, which yeah, if there's one thing Barbara has, it's a faith. Like I mentioned, a lot of the choices that I made are not entirely serious. And so for D. Luke, I gave him Baby Goodnight by B1A4. This song is literally about a man sneaking out at night to go dance at the club. And when you think about it, D. Luke literally does just that, except replace the club with being Batman. I literally can't explain why, but I always think of D. Luke whenever I'm listening to the song, even though the vibe of the song is so not D. Luke. But since this one was kind of like a joke, if I had to give him an actual one, it would probably be Phoenix by Zaya, which I think is a lot more thematically fitting for him. For Diona, I am of course giving her Alcohol Free by Twice. She literally hates alcohol and wants to destroy the wine industry, so of course she'd be alcohol free. get it because she's cryo and the song's called icy just kidding i promise that it goes a little bit deeper than that even though miss eula has severed ties with her clan a lot of people still see her as being associated with the atrocities of the lawrence clan and icy is all about staying true to who you are what you believe in and blocking out the haters so in the wise words of itzy they go blah blah it don't matter all you haters always blah blah they keep talking I keep walking. Also, I love Eula and this song, but another reason that I think it fits is because the song is pretty loud and abrasive, and Eula is also kind of obnoxious, and like almost intentionally tries to be misunderstood with all of her vengeance talk, so I feel like the shoe fits even better. So I knew that I wanted to give Fischl a Dreamcatcher song just because I feel like the aesthetics match and I feel like it would be something that she would actually listen to. But the problem, of course, was what song suited her the best. I landed on Chase Me because, to put it plainly, it really is about being different and not wanting to fit into the quiet, boring reality of the world. Chase me, yes, find me. No one can stop me. So that you can't catch me anymore. I'll secretly hide in another dream. Now come on. For Jean, I decided to give her Breathe by Lee High. Maybe this one is like a little bit dramatic because this song is very emotional in my opinion, but this song is essentially about how exhausting life can be and just remembering to give yourself some time to breathe. And I feel like this is super fitting for the incredibly dedicated and as a result, very exhausted acting grandmaster of the Knights of Avonius. Also breathe, inhaling, exhaling, wind, air, animo, there's layers. For Kaya, I decided to give him drama, and I feel like people probably wouldn't choose this initially, but let me cook. Give me a second. Exhibit A. He likes to provoke people. He likes to gossip. He's a little mischievous. So come on. He brings the drama. Exhibit B. Trauma ma ma ma. I break trauma ma ma ma. He and D. Luke are currently on much better terms. So hey, baby steps. And exhibit C. With my girls in the back. Now, which man just so happens to always be pictured with the girlies in official Genshin art? I rest my case. For Klee, I ended up being really torn between two songs, and both for essentially the exact same reason. Both Love Bomb and Boom Boom both have like explosive connotations to their name, and both songs I feel like match the vibe of Klee pretty well, so I'm giving her both. For Lisa, I decided to go with Abracadabra, because hey, Abracadabra, magic word, Lisa, a witch. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. And if you weren't familiar, the music video features a little bit of 
lesbianisms and Lisa is gay according to me so it fits even better that and I know this is such a cheap move but like the song is also pretty EDM-y electronic dance music she's electro I'm taking it I knew immediately that I wanted to do something by K-pop's resident Cosmic Queens, WJSN, for our powerful astrologist. I initially wanted to put Secret just because it's my favorite WJSN song, but I don't know, something about the song I didn't really feel like gave Mona. That could be just me, but as I was going through their discography, I remembered that Last Sequence music video had a distinctly aquatic theme. Aquatic. Hydro. Also, and I don't know if this is just me, but the name Last Sequence for some reason also gives me Mona vibes. But so does like every other WJSN song name, so. He's a wolf boy. The song is called what he is was raised by wolf. I gave Rosaria Unforgiven by La Seraphim for two reasons. The obvious one is the religious connotation of the word unforgiven being sort of a parallel for how Rosaria is a very unorthodox member of the Mondstadt clergy who does very unreligious type things like kill people. But as you will see, like most K-pop songs, this song is also about being unapologetically yourself and doing things your way, which also does fit Rosaria very well. She's an alchemist. That's pretty much science, like. This was kind of supposed to be a joke, but as I was planning out this video, it made me laugh so hard that I'm gonna keep it. So yeah, Dr. Feelgood for Baiju. I know this is technically cheating because I'm giving them both the same song, but I love the Chong Yoon and Xing Cho ship so much that I could not help myself. I am so sorry. So I gave them both my first and last by NCT Dream because this song is about meeting your first and last love at the very same time, which is exactly what happened to them. Trust me, I was there. They are real. Especially this line for Xing Cho. The letters in the book became real. I think my heart is about to burst. Letters in the book. He reads. For Hu Tao, of course, I gave her Peekaboo. This has nothing to do with the song itself, but everything to do with the name of the song and the music video. Peekaboo obviously being something you say whenever you're scaring someone, and Hu Tao notoriously loves to scare her Liyue friends. And in the music video, Red Velvet literally tried to kill a pizza man, the pizza man in this scenario being Chi Chi. I know she's already dead, and she's trying to like bury her, but like you you get you you get it, you know? For Xiao, I decided to give him Chained Up by Vix, and no, this is not just because he is literally chained up in his character demo, although I will not lie, that did play a part in it. Even though I don't ship Xiao and Traveler, I don't ship Traveler with anybody, honestly. This entire song essentially is about a man being tamed, and I do feel like that applies to how Traveler makes Xiao feel. Like a beast completely trained by you. No matter what I do, I won't be able to leave you. And who appears every time you say his name? Yeah. Case closed. So I knew I wanted to do a K-pop band for Shin Yen because she does play an instrument herself and she does have a bit of a rock aesthetic. And since Day 6 is my favorite K-pop band, it was the obvious choice. And since she's a pyro character, the song Meltdown oh, made the most sense to me. She rolls the dice, yeah. I decided to give Chiori Twinkle by Girls' Generation TTS because the song is very confident and it's a little bit uppity, a little bit snooty, which I feel like fits Chiori very well. And definitely not in a negative way. I love this song and I love Chiori. That and one of the most iconic parts of the music video is the girls getting dolled up, getting their hair and makeup done, and also getting styled, which really just gave me Chiori styling Navia, Kirara, Linny, and Lynette for Fontaine's Fashion Week. Also, Twinkle shining like a precious stone geo he's a dog slow it down 
Not gonna lie, when I first chose this song for Ito, I didn't really have a solid reason other than the fact that I just felt like this is something that he would listen to. But the lyrics do fit. The song is about being confident and unstoppable, and while we know that Ito is very stoppable, he sure believes he isn't, seeing as how many times he has gone to jail. It's about partying and having fun, and they even say, bring back the microphone, raise the volume. And who was found with a microphone very recently? Exactly. For Kazuha, I gave him Autumn Leaves by BTS. I feel like his aesthetic is very autumn, color-wise, and he literally has leaves in every single animation besides his basic attacks. But what really secured it is that this song is about a love fading away, like leaves in the wind, and you not being able to let go of it. Yeah. She is a cat yokai. Meow. Also in the song, they brag about getting money and she is literally always delivering something, so she gets hers. This one is almost entirely vibes based, to be honest. I don't know if this is just a me thing, but Cookie's appearance has always given me a bit of like a snake vibe and definitely not in a bad way, more so in like a she would be a poison type gym leader in a Pokemon game type way. And that on top of her color palette, which I know is a lot closer to purple, but regardless, really led me to gravitate towards pink venom for her. And I feel like it really suits her. This is another one where I'm cheating and smashing two songs together. Sorry. The lyrics do not matter for either of these songs, by the way. The first one is Wonderland by Gugudan. Kokomi's aesthetics match the aesthetics of this music video to a T. Please go watch the music video so you can understand what I'm saying. But I was a little bit torn because the song itself doesn't really give Kokomi vibes. On the other hand, Underwater by Kwon Unbi. Obviously, the name is Underwater, so that already fits. And the song itself does give me a little bit more Kokomi music-wise, but the music video doesn't really. So I decided to smash these two together. I just think Tomo's really hot. And he's Pyro. Case closed. He is the current scribe of the Sumero Academia. He knows so many things. He is literally like a human fact checker. Check the facts. Go check that. Kava gets one main one and one backup one. I decided to give him Wine by Sudan because, not gonna lie, I love this song so much that I was actively looking for somebody to give this song to. And when I was reading up on Kave, I saw that he is apparently a little bit too comfortable with alcohol sometimes, and so the gears started turning, okay? Wine is a love song, so you already know where this is going, but it's about a very push and pull relationship full of arguments and threatening breakups, but ultimately being drunk on each other and wanting to stay together. And the second one I have is Four Walls by FX. Get it? Four Walls. Because he's an architect. And while I would be lying if that wasn't partially it, this song is about meeting somebody, having them fundamentally change your life, and then you having to navigate that like some sort of maze. Because get it? A maze. Four Walls. Here's... Uh, <laughs> For Layla, I decided to give her Galaxy by Ladies Code. And the reasons for this are, one, the song is called Galaxy, and Layla has a lot of star elements in both her character design and her attack animations. And two, the song is just very dreamy sounding, and I really feel like it's just something that she would listen to and enjoy. Catch me if you can. 
I gave Clorand Catch Me If You Can by SNSD. As we have seen in both her attack animations and in cutscenes, she moves incredibly fast, so the title Catch Me If You Can is very fitting. That and once again, yes, I am using it twice. It is a very heavily electronic song. Electronic. Electro. Clorand. SNSD. Well, yes. Don't make me say it. This is the last one, I swear. Farina also gets two because I just love her that much. The first one is Lie by Jimin. Let me just read you the lyrics from this chorus. Caught in a lie, find the me that was pure. I can't be free from this lie. Give me back my smile. Caught in a lie, pull me from this hell. I can't be free from this pain. Save me, I am being punished. As if Farina wasn't caught in a lie for 500 years. Absolute cinema. And the second song I have for her is Female President by Girls Day. Aside from the very obvious female president, female archon parallel, the reason this song is called Female President is because at the time of its release, South Korea was experiencing its first female presidency. However, for various reasons, that female president ended up getting removed from office. And as we know, Farina... For Sijuin, I decided to give her Shooting Love by Laboom. I feel like there were a lot of really good options for Sijuin, but this is just me pushing the Laboom agenda on you guys. But genuinely, of all the options that I had, I do think this one fits the best because Sijuin is quite literally shooting love in almost all of her attacks. The aesthetics of the song also just fit Sijuin perfectly, and the song is just super upbeat and bright and poppy, and I really feel like it's just something that she would love. I will not be taking further questions. For Kachina, I decided to give her Anti-Fragile by La Seraphim. This song is all about overcoming adversity when everybody is preying on your downfall like those lame-ass NPCs during the Archon quest, but persevering and winning in the end like she did. Also, I think Anti-Fragile is just a very funny play on the fact that she's a Geo character. Like Geo, hard, Anti-Fragile. It's not fragile because it's a rock. And the final character I am going to talk about today is Kinich, who gets Game Boy by Seventeen. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to read you any lyrics because if I wanted to read the applicable lyrics, I would just read the entire song. But as we know, so many of Kinich's battle animations are styled after 8-bit video games, and this entire song is about playing video games. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And we're done with part one, yay! I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a slightly different style of video than what I'm used to putting out, but this was a lot of fun to make and I hope it was somewhat entertaining to watch. Like I said, there are a bunch of songs that apply to multiple characters. So if you thought of one that I didn't say, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I would love to read them. I also go live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Link in the description as per usual. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, bye. See ya.